Hey guys, it's Megan. Um, so I wanted to make my first video, uh, kind of an intro video, and share with you guys what I've been doing for the past few months and why I decided to become a um, coach through Beachbody. Um, so, so I'm a little nervous, so this is... Uh, not used to being behind the camera so I'm stepping this is a good exercise in me stepping outside of my comfort zone a little bit so be nice um, some of you guys know me really well um, some of you have known me like my whole life or through my whole adult life um, some of you guys don't know me at all so thanks for watching and uh, those of you that have known me for any period of time, you know that I have struggled with my weight over the years. It has gone up and down, and the older that I get, the more it goes up and has stayed up. Um, so, I, you know, I just want to kind of share a little bit about that with, with you guys. Uh, it's kind of a hard topic to talk about. Um, I, we, has kind of been an on, ongoing struggle, a lifelong struggle for me. Uh, I've had to work really hard just to maintain my big figures that I have always been blessed with. Um, I definitely uh, thought that I was living a really healthy life. I, you know, gave up soda and processed foods for the most part and um, I was active. I've had a really strong yoga practice for many years. Um, I tried to be a runner m many times. I've done, yeah, I I've always tried to stay uh, active in some way and um, never been successful at being able to lose weight that way. Uh, it was been after my daughter was born I just started to gain more and more weight I couldn't figure out why um, there there just wasn't anything different and I was like what's wrong with me I must have had my thyroid checked like seven times probably uh, there's it just thought <sighs> I, uh, um, I when I moved to Texas, you know, I had these new friends, and I never really felt like my friends here knew the real Megan, because they just saw this overweight person, at least this is what my thinking is, um, that they don't know any, they don't know me any different. It was hard for me because, um, I wasn't comfortable in my own skin or my own body and like I had this kind of depersonalization of myself going on for a long time. Uh, when I looked in the mirror I didn't really see um, what, I didn't see what other people saw. And then when I would see like a picture of myself um, that somebody posted or something I just couldn't even make the connection like that that was me because that person that I saw in the picture was not the person that I saw in my head and that I, I, I tried not to let it bother me or, or discourage me uh, I put on you know face I've, I've, you know military wife you gotta stay strong um, but you can, you know, when you're in the grocery store and somebody comes up and pats you on your stomach and asks you when you're due, or when you're in your yoga teacher training class and you can't get into a pose because your stomach is in the way, or when you can't fit into your cowboy boots because your calves are too big. Um, when you just can't do 
the things when your body doesn't let you do the things that your mind wants you to be able to do there's a disconnect there and um, the longer it goes on the harder it gets to reconnect and luckily I had yoga to help me connect more with my body and I think that it helped me um, help me push through a lot <laughs> Uh, a lot of things that I don't know what I would have done without yoga. Uh, I probably would not be able to be up here talking to you guys right now, that's for sure. Um, okay, so I, um, you know, I just kept gaining weight and I was working out like crazy. I was, I spent a year going to, spending my lunch break every day at a spin class and coming home every single night and doing yoga every single night and not losing a single pound. And eventually, you know, I, I was falling into this, this poor me, why me, pity party mindset. And, um, I didn't give up. I decided that drastic times call for drastic measures and started searching for something different. Like, I was like ready to try anything at this point. And I wish that I would have known about Beachbody back then. I really do. Uh, but I, so I went on this like crazy diet where I was quite restricted to under 25 grams of carbs a day and I was e eating this, I call it astronaut food that was supposed to replace my meals. That was nothing but like aspartame and caffeine and who knows what other kinds of chemicals were in there and it was like, I couldn't even have a banana for breakfast. I could have zero fruit. I couldn't work out because my body was in such a calorie deficit that it could not sustain me through a 30 minute, let alone like a 90 minute yoga practice. Um, and I lost a little bit of weight because I was starving myself basically on this program and um, I, yeah, I couldn't maintain it. I was getting headaches and I was weak and I was tired and I was dizzy and um, I, I, I finally, I wasn't a very pleasant person to be around. I was disconnected even more because I didn't have my yoga and so um, I, I stopped doing that and I plateaued. Of course I didn't lose any more weight. I went through yoga teacher training this year and still didn't really have any impact on my weight whatsoever. Um, and I was just like feeling defeated and I think I was just waiting around for something to like fall into my lap and kind of did. <laughs> And my friend started talking to me about Beachbody products and, I, and programs, and I was like, "Dude, that's not for me. Like, I've been there before. I'm not. I'm not investing in another program. Um, that doesn't work. It's all just a quick fix." It's just like, "No, no, no. This is no quick fix. Like, this is not anything that you're um, going to get magical results from. Like, this is just something that is going to help you reach your goals. And so I finally was like, you know, what do I got to lose? I, I researched the Shakeology and I found that it was like the closest thing to a whole food that I could ask for. Um, there's nothing in it that I don't already consume, like there's no artificial sweeteners, there's no dyes, there's no additives, there's no chemicals, it's like 70 amazing like superfoods packed into one protein supplement or, um, so I was like well that sounds pretty good, it could probably help me because I was already taking a bunch of vitamins and I realized that it could replace some of the vitamins I was taking and and then you know I did the she put me in the 21 day fix program which I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about so far 
And I, at first it was like, okay, this is cardio, burpees, what? Um, but I knew that I needed something that was going to push me outside of like my normal comfort zone and make me do things that I wouldn't have chosen to do on my own or that I would have done if I would have went to the gym on my own. Um, and I started doing it. It was really hard at first and I um, wanted to give up a couple of times. But I stuck with it, and after the first round, I was like really pleased with the results. I was feeling really good. I didn't have any more fatigue, and I was like up to like five or six push ups that I could do. I was like, cool. And uh, so I, she started talking to me about coaching, and I was like, dude, I don't have a beach body. Like, the, who would want me as their coach? Like, I'm not a fitness expert. I'm not a nutritionist or a trainer. I am, still have a lot of weight to lose. Like, there's, that's just not, and that's not my thing. I'm not a salesman. She's like, Megan, you don't, you don't wait until you're perfect to help people. You're helping people every day just by just by showing them what you've done. And I was like, kind of resonated with me when she said that because I'm um, like, you know, that's true. Like, we, we don't have to be perfect to, to help somebody else. You know, they say like, the people who have the least give the most. And you, I like to, to help people because they, that's, I mean, I'm a social worker, that's what I do in my day job. So I was like, you know, if I can just share this with my friends and family and it helps them through, if they've been through anything like I've been through before, then that, that's, that's pretty cool. So I decided to do it and, um... I think it has been, it's been a profound uh, impact on my life so far. Um, I continue to get more and more weight loss, and more so the weight loss is the, the personal growth that I have. Just me being able to sit here and do this video is something I probably would have, if you would have six months ago, you told me I'd be doing this, there's no way that I would have ever believed you. There's no way. So, um, I would love to hear from you guys and hear about what you struggle with or what you want to do, uh, what your goals are. If you have any health and fitness goals, I would love to be your coach. And, um, you know, I just want to share this journey with you guys, and so I really thank you for listening to this ramble on for like the past 14 minutes, and um, thank you for the support that you've given me because you're keeping me accountable, and I would love to do the same for you. Um, if if I can, if you guys, you know, just reach out. You can you can send me a message, you can drop your email in the comments here, um, let me know what I can do to help you, and I will be there to support you throughout the whole journey. Um, okay, with that, I guess I'm going to end, I think that I talked about, oh god, I don't know, I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about, let's see if I have the uh, courage to post this video. Um, alright you guys, talk to you soon, namaste. Mwah.